Ben Walker, where a father, mother, and their five-year-old daughter were sleeping. Box 17 Savannah Fish was there shortly afterward and spoke with the family. Um, my wall just like explodes into my bedroom and I hear my husband screaming and I start obviously freaking out and immediately I'm like, where's my daughter? Around 2 a.m. Saturday, a family woke up to a car barreling through their home just a short distance from their bedrooms. It, it was almost as if like the, the house was crumbling. While they were willing to share their experience, they wanted to remain anonymous. I like crawled over this mountain of rubble and um, went in her room, we smelled gas. So I busted the window open to get her out because we couldn't get to the doors. Um, and then we came around the front and I was finally able to see how treacherous my kitchen was. This is what the inside of their kitchen looked like just shortly after the crash. Something I was like, we gotta get out of here now because I really thought that something was gonna blow up because I, I saw the, um, the oven was like accordion. I don't know how fast this guy was going, but it was, it's everything is exploded in our kitchen. So, according to the homeowners, the man driving was initially unresponsive. Police say he was likely drinking and driving when the crash occurred. I just remember my husband on top of the car. He was obviously quite angry and um, just trying trying to make sure this guy's okay and I guess get him out. He thought he was dead at first. He wasn't moving. He was he had blood coming out of his ears. It was pretty bad. Wow. Once police arrived, the driver was taken to the hospital, but this mother has a message for him and anyone else thinking about getting behind the wheel while under the influence. Do not drive drunk. It is not worth it in this day and age. Take an Uber. Like it's just, it's not worth it and there's no excuse for it. A situation that could have had a very different ending. And um, I just, you know, it makes me very terrified to think of how bad that outcome could have been. Thankful for the first responders that came, and, and I'm glad that the, the guy is okay, too. In Walker, Savannah Fish, Fox 17 News. When we last checked with police, we could not get an update on the man's condition. Police say while the crash is still under investigation, they believe speed and alcohol were factors.